This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. A caretaker is behind bars after allegedly abusing a 93 year old woman. Investigators say 64 year old Martha Sanchez is a woman seen here kicking the elderly victim who had fallen out of bed. Well, eventually, Sanchez attempts to lift the woman into bed, but police say she's being carried as if she's an animal. Sanchez is charged with elderly abuse and tampering with evidence. We're told the victim is with her family and expected to be okay. Two men wanted in connection with a murder in New York are expected to go before a Miami judge today. The U.S. Marshals say Brandon Lee and Krishan Hedge were in this BMW that led officers on a miles long chase Monday afternoon. They are the suspects in a murder in Queens. We're told Lee and Hodge are high level gang members in New York. In person, early voting is off and running in South Florida as we are now just two weeks away from Election Day. And there were long lines in some places on Monday. For the first time, polling places were located on university campuses, including Miami Dade College North and FIU. I think this is the most important election of our lifetime. And uh, I think it's hopefully going to be a transformational election. I've never seen a line for midterm elections before, and it's a thrill. Early voting is underway from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. in both Miami-Dade and Broward counties until Sunday, November 4th. Early voting runs until Saturday, November 3rd in Monroe County. And a reminder, the final scheduled debate for Florida governor is tomorrow. It will take place at Broward College, and you can see it right here on CBS 4, live at 7 p.m. And don't forget to buy a Mega Millions ticket, or maybe two. We're just hours away from the $1.6 billion Mega Millions lottery drawing. It's now crossed into record territory and there's still a chance the jackpot will climb. Nobody has won Mega Million since July. The estimated cash option is over $900 million. By the way, the odds of winning are one in around 300 million. The only place to see the winning numbers drawn live is right here on CBS4. We'll have them for you at 11 o'clock right before the news. And by the way, Wednesday's Powerball drawing is up to $620 million. You can see that drawing right here on CBS4 as well. Now, CBS4 weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Ah, feeling a little lucky this morning with a pair of sevens here. 77 in Miami and Fort Lauderdale, the warm spot. Anyone in Key West, so good luck to you all. There is a lot of money to win there. I know I played my tickets already, so as we look at the radar, it's quiet. We had a few showers earlier. Breeze out of the east, northeast, six, nine miles an hour. Today, high climbs to around 86, similar to yesterday with clouds around, some Body showers and the rain chance not too high, but you don't want to be caught in that brief downpour. So keep the umbrella in the back seat of the car and as spotty storms as temperatures and humidity levels climb the next few days. A warming trend near 90 by Friday, 86 Saturday, breezy right ahead of a stronger cold front that will bring our temperatures down a bit. By Sunday, we'll see lows in the 60s, Monday too, and highs in the low 80s, Maribel. Thanks, Lizette, and that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com. Tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.